Hey everyone, it's me, Packatax here, and here we are continuing our Let's Play of DuckTales Remastered. And we are getting ready to go to the Himalayas next. Ah, there we go, the Himalayas. Alright, let's get started. Pack my park at Duckworth. We're headed for the Himalayas to hunt for the lost crown of Genghis Khan. Shall I forward your call, sir? Gee, can I come, Uncle Scrooge? I want to see the pretty Himalayan marmots. Oh, not this time, Wibby, darling. I need you here looking after the boys. Otherwise, who knows what kind of trouble they might get into. Oh, that's very smart. Uncle, Uncle Scrooge! Indulge me, lads. The last thing this expedition needs is a wheel lass about. Oh, I'm going to have enough trouble looking after the launch pad. Launch pad. I told you to land in the center of the mountain range, not in the center of a mountain. Gee, Mr. McTee, I thought that crash was rock solid. The only rocks around here are the ones inside your head. Ugh, we're nowhere near Shadow Pass and the Lost Crown. Now fix this wreck so we can get airborne and step on it, lad. I'm paying you by the hour, and I'll may have you billing me for overtime. No problem, boss. As long as I have this fuel regulator, we're as good as... Whoopsie-daisy. Oops. <laughs> uh, my mom always said I was a Butterfingers. <laughs> oh, no. Please tell me you've got another one of those. Sure I do. <laughs> but it's back in Duckburg. Launch pad! Don't worry, Mr. McTee. I'll climb down and get it. You'll do no such thing. I'll get it. You stay here and try not to cause any more damage. Okay, you're the boss. Ah, here we are in the Himalayas. Didn't you get rich by being foolish? Yeah. Still isn't. Vicious as I remember it was. There's those annoying goats again. Ooh. Ooh. Here comes another goat. I didn't get to be number one by back and doing. <laughs> the goat jumped down the hole. There it is. Ah, jackpot! Here now, don't touch that. I need it to fix my plane. Stop! Oh, it's too late. Those bunny bandits have torn it apart. I've got to find those pieces fast. Okay, there's the map. All right, we're good to go. Ooh. False wall, I knew it. What's this? Another heart container. Da -da -da -da. I love Zelda. Oh. 
Why would there be... You know what? I'm not even going to ask anymore. Actually, you know what? Let's go down the other way. Might as well. It's even darker down here. Pieces. Great, that magic coin that I got didn't even make me invincible after the cutscene. Ooh, ooh! Gotta be more careful. Yeah, it didn't make me invincible, but... Ooh! Wow, that was close. Yeah, I'll climb up that rope in a bit. Kilts. It's Bubba Duck. Looks like that poor little pea brain got caught in a deep freeze. Whoa, what happened? Scooge? Ooga Ooga! Scooge saved Bubba! There, there, little fella. Uncle Scrooge is here to help. Scooge save Bubba! Scooge save Bubba! Scooge save Bubba! Bubba helps Scooge! Bubba helps Scooge forever! You know, I could use a bit of help smashing away this giant icebox. What do you say, Bubba? Ooga ooga! In that case, follow me, lad! Go for it, Bubba. Come on, Bubba. Down here. Bubba. There we go. One, two. Look at that luster. This is the end of the line, Bubba. It's time for you to head to the surface. Bubba home with Scrooge? Aye. Launch pad is waiting to take you home to Duckburg. On your way now. Hmm. Okay, so we rescued Bubba. Gotta make our way back up now. It's the second piece of the fuel regulator. One more piece to find and we can get out of this overgrown icebox. First it was an overgrown salad, now we're in an overgrown icebox. What's up here? Oh, this is the way back to the surface. 
Yeah, we're not ready to go back to the surface just... Oh. Yeah, that was foolish of me. But like I was saying, we're not ready to go back to the surface just yet. I could have sworn that Mrs. Beakley was in this level. There we go. What are hockey skaters doing here? You know what, I should really stop asking questions, really. This game is all about fan service anyway. Sure is. Oh, luck of the ducks! The last one! Now to get this fuel regulator back to launch pad. Okay, all we gotta do is just head back now. Wait a minute. Is up here? It's really weird. It doesn't go anywhere. Okay, we're almost there. Trust this. Watch me get hit and fall backwards into the pit. Huh. I'm surprised I got out of that one alive. I hate bottomless pits. Of course, there's a Beagle Boy waiting for me. You know, come to- Oh no. No. <sighs> Well, it's not the end of the world. Come to think of it, what I was going to say was, back in that one ceiling where I thought that it actually didn't go nowhere, maybe it did. Maybe there was a can up there that I was supposed to hit. Oh well. I'll find out some other time, I'm sure. Here you go, Launchpad. Good as new. Now get this bucket of bolts back in the sky. Just a tick, Mr. McD. Uh, this uh, ought to do it. Now there's your problem. Webbergale, what in the world are you doing here? I wanted to see the pretty crown, Uncle Scrooge. Oh, great. Now I've got to babysit you and Launchpad. But I can help, Uncle Scrooge. You're not like the voice, are you? You don't think I'm just a worthless tag-along, do you? We're ready for liftoff, Mr. McD. Ah, not a moment too soon. Stop in tight, Webby dear. Off we go. Nothing but blue skies ahead. Clear as a bell. Not a cloud in sight. Launchpad, knock off that infernal chatter. Gee whiz, I was only trying to lighten the mood. If anything, we need to lighten the plane. Feels like she's lost maneuverability with all the, uh, unexpected cargo we seem to have picked up. No worries, Mr. McD. I've got the coordinates for Shadow Pass locked in. We'll be there lickety-split. More like lickety-splat. Glomgold. Nice to see you, McDuck. Especially since you've led me right to the treasure. 
To whom do I owe my thanks? Your idiotic pilot? Or did you play it safe and let those two wee ones fly the plane? You dusty cheat! Only you could sink so low! And at 15,000 feet, no less. Complain all you like. The lost crown of Genghis Khan will look right at home on my feathered noggin. Wouldn't you say, Scroogey? <laughs> That's what you think. You'll never beat us to Shadow Pass. So, the crown is in Shadow Pass, eh? Thanks for telling me. <laughs> Launch pad! Come on, boys. One old duck with a cane shouldn't be any trouble to take down. Take that, Glomgold. Ouch! Yeah, this was not in the original game. Knock it off, McDuck! But at the very least, it is a welcome addition. That got him. You haven't seen the last of me, McDuck! Take that, you big old meanie! We sure showed him that cheaters never cheat and winners never win, didn't we? Try it the other way around and I couldn't agree more, Webby. Pickle me, pin feathers. There it is. Shadow Pass directly ahead. Take us down, Launchpad. Slow and steady this time. No problem, old Mr. McD. We're close to that treasure now. I can almost smell it. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> then what was it? That definitely wasn't me. Whatever it is, it won't last long if it tries to get between me and the lost crown. Uncle Scrooge, don't go! Don't no worry, lassie. Whatever is in that cave is no match for your Uncle Scrooge. I earn my fortune by being smarter than the smarties and tougher than the toughies. If anything's in there, it had better step aside. But I'm scared! Stay with Launchpad. He'll take good care of you. Stay with Launchpad? <laughs> oh, these goats. Oh boy. Be almost done now. Oh, 
that did it. Stop! Please stop! Webby! Be nice, Uncle Scrooge. That poor fuzzy lady didn't mean any harm. Did you, ma'am? <laughs> ma'am? Don't be daft, lass. This monster tried to pummel me. Why, I nearly cashed my last check. <laughs> oh, I know, ma'am. But Uncle Scrooge is really nice once you get to know him. <laughs> Webby, you understand this creature? Of course, Uncle Scrooge. It's all in a Junior Woodchuck guidebook. <laughs> What's she saying now? She says she's sorry if she hurt you. She's just upset because she stepped on a thorn. I can't get it out. A thorn? You don't suppose... Here's your thorn, Webigail. <laughs> the lost crown of Genghis Khan. The pretty crown. <laughs> you found it. Hey, the poor creature was standing on it. Webby, I cannot thank you enough. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Without your help, we never would have found the treasure. Oh, uh, and thanks to you too, ma'am. <laughs> I think she likes you, Uncle Scrooge. Yeah, that's odd. Usually it's me the ladies go gaga for. Hey, uh, well, let's get home before she grows any fonder of me. <laughs> well, that was nice. The duck who would be king. Eleven point six million. The lost crown of Genghis Khan is mine, lads. <laughs> All it took was a bit of tenacity and perseverance. And a little kindness and patience. Right, Uncle Scrooge? Right you are, Webby darling. Now, where's Bubba run off to? Yeah, where is he? He was here a minute ago. Why does no answer Bubba? He's over there having a tea party with Webby's toys. No. Bubba Smash! Uh-oh, Webby. Sounds like Bubba's not getting along so good with your Quacky Patch dolls. <gasps> you keep away from my dolls, mister! Uh, remember, kindness and patience, Webbygill. Set a good example for the lad. Well then, what treasure shall we look for next? Alright you guys, I think I'm going to call it right here, so like always, if you guys like what you see, feel free to hit me up with a like, comment, and subscribe. Take care you guys, peace.